We're talking about browsing the internet today, and we have a new browser to deal with now. It is Internet Explorer 9. I'm actually excited by this because 8, I've personally had problems with locking up and being a little bit slow. and So I downloaded 9, and beware, it takes some time. With anything with Windows, it seems to take time. So uh, a good, uh, oh, it took me about 5 to 7 minutes to download it. But what came up was actually pretty nice. This is a look at the Fox 11 website, and uh, I, I haven't squished this image at all. This is the size of the internet banner right here. So you see more, a lot more of the space right here for web browsing, which is nice, because an eight, mine is about that big. Also on this, you notice we really have only one window here for putting in websites or even searching. So they've combined that together, which I think is a good use of space. And the business end of the website, well, it's hung right here, just to the far edge. You've got your uh, home page, your favorites, and then your tool settings right here. So pretty simple to use. Did I find it faster? Not much, but I do like the layout, especially when you add a new tab. This pops up. It actually takes all of your favorite websites that you like to go to and lists them, much like Google Chrome does, which is kind of a cool feature of Chrome. Now, if you're not a fan of IE9, even though it, it does have some great security features to it. Well, guess what? On Tuesday, Firefox is not going to be left behind. They have a new release of their own internet browser. It is 4, and as I said, that comes out on Tuesday.